What's up, guys? Got a scooter video for you guys. Just hit a uh, 300 miles and uh, went and got some engine oil, some gear oil, uh, decompression tube. We got a magnetic drain plug. We got a spark plug wire. We got a fuel pump and some fuel line. Um, if you guys know about me, I I only wear Vans, so I was really stoked to get these Vans grips. I'm literally wearing Vans right now. And I also got uh, this uh, leather seat cover, I think to match. I think it'll go good with the white and the blue, the browns. Here is our dipstick tube. This is where we're gonna fill our oil. This is where we're gonna add it. Take it and then over here, yeah, we're drain plug. It's a 17-millimeter bolt. Nice. And then on this side, unlike cars, uh, cars have paper oil filters. But this has like a, a mesh screen spring type of thing. Oh, there's a spring. And then it should be a little mesh screen. There you go. I don't see anything in there, but uh, yeah, this is our oil filter. So the thing about uh, magnetic drain plugs is you don't want metal shavings in your oil. So this is gonna catch any metal shavings you might get and prolong the life of your engine. Got our drain plugs back in there. Filled it up with some oil. Took almost the whole thing. Um, to check it, we have a little dipstick here. You can see it's kind of dry. And then you don't want to screw it all the way in. You just want to just dunk it. You can kind of see our oil level. Yeah, that should be good. So we're not going to install this keep that in there we're actually gonna put our NCY decompression tube um, what this does is as the piston comes down in the engine um, it's creating crankcase pressure and this just relieves the oil and the crankcase pressure and allows the piston to move more freely in the engine and this is how I have it routed just have it zip tied up in there. Figure that's the highest point it could go. Oil change done, decompression tube done. We're gonna change the gear oil. Uh, we have our fill plug right there. It's a 10 millimeter. And also you can see the drain right there. The difference you can tell is like the transmission case. These bolts are they're all eights all the way around, but the fluid, they're tens. So that's, uh, that's how you know. So I don't know if you can see this spot right here. I just drained the fluid. And look, that's actual literal metal shavings. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there compared to the engine oil. But uh, yeah, we got another magnetic drain plug for that as well. Keep those metal shavings out of there. And then there's no dipstick for the gear oil. So you just fill it up and let it drain out the rest. On one of my rides, I had a, my spark plug wire just fall out on me. And like, I guess it's like a threaded cap kind. I don't know, it just comes in and out. It doesn't really have a way of holding itself on there. But um, I picked up this threaded cap to make it a solid post and I'm just gonna put screw that on there and then our NGK just a traditional pop socket hopefully it don't get stranded again got our ignition coil plugged in we gotta put this in there Nice. 
Uh, we hear a little, lots of good things about this Makuni fuel pump. Here, like everybody's using this, it seems like. So we're gonna get this in there, see if we still, can, see if we can fix our fuel issues. Real simple, uh, vacuum comes in from the throttle body. Uh, fuel goes in, fuel comes out. And the same thing here, vacuum will go in the center here. And then uh, fuel goes in, fuel comes out. I also want to document um, this broke, the rear brake light broke, but uh, I think if I take off these rubber, or this, they're kind of like, yeah, they're rubber, and put them on this side, I think it'll hold it fine, because like the hole is not bigger than, it, than the washer, so I think I might be able to fix this. But yeah, this is, this also broke. Just like that, boys. Easy fix. Uh, now that we got that done, uh, I got this here seat cover I want to put on. Oh shit! I got it from uh, CheekySeats.com. But uh, yeah, it's just some pleather. Seems real nice. Just gonna stretch it over and pull the jawstring. I also picked up this uh, thrashing little bag, cargo bag, I guess. It's pretty cool. It came with these little clips. Uh, it's got like a sunglasses pocket in the front. There's a pocket right here. I put in these bungee cords just cause. It's good to have some tie downs. Came with these Velcros. I'm gonna put it right here in the front. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's from thrashing. I just used the four straps, velcro straps that it came with, and it looks freaking sweet. It couldn't be any more perfect, really. It's like a nice little pouch in the perfect place, and it matches. Super excited about that. For the handlebars, um, I just took off the controls on both sides. Um, I'm just going to slip these on and off. I'm probably gonna cut this one off, or cut both of them off carefully, but yeah. And just like that, we got some new grips. That was a pain in the ass, to be honest. They always are. And then uh, I just cut a hole inside the grip for the mirrors. Put the mirrors back on. Look freaking sweet, dude. Brown on brown on brown. Brown grips, brown bag, brown saddle. Man, I love how it all ties together. Freaking sweet. What's up, guys? Just hit uh, 650, 650 miles, so I'm draining the oil again. Um, to look at our magnetic drain plugs, you can see like there's some super fine metal on there, so it's definitely doing its job. And then uh, same thing on this magnet here. It's just like some super fine metal. I hope this is just like the break-in period. Um, I hope this doesn't continue as we drive it more later down the road. But uh, yeah, there's definitely metal in there. And the magnet's doing its job. I didn't see any metal in there that looked pretty clean, but it's like super fine, yeah. I filled it up the first time. I had the oil up on the upper end of the spectrum. I'm gonna have it on the lower end this time i was having some oil um seep out of the decompression tube 
So I'm gonna see if that'll help just having a little less oil. As long as you have it within this range, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put it a little more towards the bottom than I did up here. Same thing for our magnetic drain plug for the final drive differential. It's got some real fine metal on it. Um, this is normal, I was expecting this. Um, I wasn't expecting it to find it on the engine drain plug, but uh, I'll change it again, change the oil again in 300 miles and we'll, I'll monitor the engine oil. But yeah, it's definitely good to get some magnetic plugs. Got the second fluid change done. Uh, we're currently at six something. I'll change the fluid again at a thousand. I don't know if I had talked about this, but um, I took out the 10 gram sliders and I put back the 14 gram rollers. Um, I was having fuel issues. Um, I don't know, it just didn't seem to be working. Like just the, with the 10 grams, it spins really fast. And I don't think I have enough fuel to support, support it. So I, I went back to the 14 grams, they weigh more. And um, I noticed there's more low end torque, like uh, getting off the line feels a bit quicker so i like the way those feel right now and then uh the mccuny fuel pump i did i didn't film this but um i put it on i put it i went for a ride for maybe two miles and then it just left me stranded um i don't know i couldn't figure out how to get it to work again um it's pretty simple you just hook up vacuum i made sure there wasn't any kinks um, I tried the fuel lines going both ways. I just I couldn't get it to pump fuel anymore. So we're back on the stock fuel pump. Uh, yeah, so I don't... There's my review on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we're back on the stock fuel pump. I did order Rolling Wrench's electric fuel pump because um, on diesel, there's no vacuum. So if I brake too quickly, the, the vacuum pump the vacuum fuel pump loses vacuum and then there's no there's no fuel and then it cuts out and then I'm stranded at a red light and then the light changes and then I can't leave so I'm there cranking it and then sometimes it doesn't crank over so I have to walk to the sidewalk and ah it's annoying so um, I'm gonna get an electric fuel pump and have constant fuel pressure at all times so that'll be my next video here it is under the sun this is its uh, current form I'll give it a little rinse. The white wheels are hard to keep clean. But uh, yeah, next video will be our vacuum pump to electric fuel pump conversion. So uh, yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching.